Well, a company is accused of holding ashes for ransom and scamming grieving loved ones. This business has been kicked out of other states, but it's up and running in Colorado Springs. Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen is looking into a loophole in Colorado law that keeps the company open. It's a Target 13 investigation tonight. James and Heather, this company rents a virtual office space inside of this building and they get their mail dropped off here. But the owners of this company don't report to work here or live anywhere near Colorado. And complaints against this company are coming in from across the country. <sighs> The pain of losing her mom is overwhelming. So hard. And for Kim Sverkowski, knowing what happened to her mom after her death makes it even worse. I can't even speak to you about the stress that it puts on you not knowing where your loved one is. After Laura Gardner died, Kim's husband Ed arranged her cremation through Heritage Cremation Provider. The online company works as a middleman, arranging services through local crematories. Ed says within days, the company pulled a fast one on them and asked for hundreds of dollars more. And if they didn't, they wouldn't get Garner's cremains. These people are criminals. And they're taking advantage of grieving families. That's, that's sick. It's just, it's disgusting. The couple says for weeks, they begged for her ashes. And the company kept demanding more money and threw in cruel comments about her mom's weight. They were going to need a shipping crate to uh, burn her in. And because of her size and the shipping crate, she was going to have to have extra burn time. That's the kind of stuff we yeah. heard. In Michigan, Jason Patterson felt the same pain. You're already hurting, and it's, uh, it's an awful time to be taken advantage of. And knowing that you're being taken advantage of in the moment just makes you very, very angry. He says Heritage Cremation Provider's owner, A.J. Damiano, told him it would be $1,100 to cremate his father. After his dad's body was picked up, Jason says he couldn't get a straight answer from Heritage Cremation Provider about where his dad was for weeks. And the company wanted more cash. It uh, just kept going round and round in circles and, you know, and then they would just say, demand money. At, at one point, they said they weren't even going to give me any more information until I paid the bill, which was higher than what we asked for. The Better Business Bureau says similar complaints are coming in from across the country. We saw uh, what we call a pattern of complaint, which is there are similar issues that kind of keep popping up. Jonathan Liebert with the BBB is investigating the company and its owners, AJ and Joseph Damiano. That's because the mailing address is here on Telestar Drive. Number one, you've got the death of a loved one, you know, from a family perspective. And so that's already a little bit, you know, traumatic for, for folks. And then to have, you know, an agency that, you know, then in some cases could be seen as re-victimizing the family. According to the Colorado Department of Regulatory Agencies, no action has been taken against Heritage Cremation Provider. But this company is banned in Florida for operating without a license. In a separate case more than a decade ago, the Florida Funeral Board stripped Joseph Damiano of his licenses. He's known as the body baron of Boward County. He built his business cremating and transporting corpses. But in 2000, investigators say he rented out bodies for embalming by mortuary students without family's permission. At this point, we are continuing our investigation in what appears to be a highly volatile and complex situation. Just disrespectful. I don't know how people like that work, how they can just mistreat human beings that way. For the Sverkowskis, it's cost them tears, stress, and heartache. When we actually opened the box, it was full of ashes, the whole inside of the box. The container was covered with it. And they just, it was not sealed properly, and the box was beat, just beat all up. And now they say it's time this company feels the pain. Tomorrow night, we'll explain how a loophole in Colorado law encourages these types of companies to set up shop here. I'll have that story tomorrow night at 10. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen Cario, News Channel 13.